Hi everybody, I have been playing with some food dyes, um, but before I get into um, what I've been discovering here, and it's been fun, um, just wanted to um, just make a request that um, if you have issues with other crafters, please stop bringing it here to YouTube. It's just, it's, it's beyond ridiculous. People are getting hurt. It's just, what is the point? You deal with that person directly. You put your big girl pants on. And you talk like an adult to the person you have the issue with. Please stop bringing that crap to YouTube. That's all I'm going to say about it. So now on to fun time. <laughs> um, I picked up uh, red cabbage and some beets from the grocery store the other day. And this it's actually pretty cool. Um, the red cabbage, um, I think I just cut half of it off. And um, I, th I had like large chunks of it. I didn't want it all broken up. And don't know how well you're going to be able to see but this is the boiled red cabbage after it has set overnight and what I actually did well before I get into that when I was straining it I put a paper towel in my little um, colander to catch any stuff so that it would pick up the color and this is on, a, on the paper towel and that is the color that it came out. Looks a little different from what from what's in that jar right now. Um, but I also took a part of it and I added some baking soda to it. And yesterday, and that, that's to um, adjust the pH balance. Um, yesterday, this jar was actually a gorgeous blue color. And now it's obviously more purple. And I poured some in a jar because I'm going to add some more baking soda to it so we can see what it does. So before I move to the beets, I'm going to put some more baking soda in this one since it already has some in there. And we'll see what it does. I, you know, it's not a whole lot. I don't know if it's going to change it anymore or not. It is getting more blue. And this is more the color it was um, last night. Actually, this is more of a periwinkle right now. But it's definitely blue. But what's interesting is when I was um, getting it into the jar, again, I put some paper. Now, actually, I folded this and dunked it in after it was in the jar, it dried green. And that's a really pretty green. <laughs> I was hoping for a blue, but we'll see what happens when we, um, when we play with this a little bit. And then I had read that if you add an acid to your red cabbage dye, that it would turn it more red. So I turned, poured some from the original um, cabbage batch unaltered poured some into a bowl here and I've got a lemon here and I'm just going to squeeze some juice in and we'll see what happens. I didn't grab another spoon. Yeah, it's definitely looking more blue again. And yes, it is turning red. Yeah, I never took chemistry class, but this stuff was just so much fun. I love it. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is dip a little piece of lace in each of these. And I've got my tweezers. So I can... Whoops, well, I guess it is going in that one. That wasn't the intention, but... 
Now, the one thing about the cabbage dye, it does kind of stink. Okay, so right now this looks blue. And I'm not going to hold it up yet. I'm going to give it a little chance to dry. Maybe you can see it. I hope you can. Um, I should have gloves on, but hey, let's live dangerously. This is going into the original unaltered cabbage dye. And I can't tell if, yeah, I guess the lace has picked up a little bit of color. It did, good. Okay. And now I'm going to dip into the cabbage into the cabbage dye that I put baking soda in yesterday and let set overnight. Whoopsie. Not a big fan of these tweezers. That was good. <laughs> Just see how that's coming out. And that's almost like a periwinkle blue. That is so pretty. I hope it dries like that. I hope it doesn't dye green. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, and now I'm going to put some in the original cabbage juice or cabbage dye that's got some lemon juice in it. And that is definitely pinky red. Little bit of a, um, I don't want to do that, a little bit of a red hue to it. Almost fuchsia, but not in your face, bright. But I'll hold these up after, after I finish going over all of these. Okay, now with the beet juice, I actually boiled it first and this just blew my mind. This is the color that's on the paper towel, which is pretty darn cool. Not red like I expected, um, kind of like a tea dye, but a little bit more golden. I mean, in the jar, it looks almost like liquid rust. And you know how much I hate that. <laughs> so let's uh, put a piece of lace in there. I'm just going to smell it. That doesn't smell nearly as bad as the cabbage does. Don't drop your tweezers in there this time, Diana. Okay, and that's like a super, super, super light. That one's going to be really hard to tell that it did anything until it dries. But I can look at it and see a difference where I left the white and left this. And it's, it's almost making it a cream color, which is like wicked cool. Um, so actually, before, before these beets started to boil... The water was turning red immediately when I was putting the beets in. So just a little while ago, I just got a pot of, of cold water, didn't even turn the heat on on the stove, sliced up a beet and put it in, and that's it. So that's, that's the red that I was expecting that would stay when the beets were boiled. i got to cut off another piece of lace here. And I don't know if um, if our beets are the same thing as beetroot, for those of you in the UK. Actually, after I dip this, I'm going to grab a beet out of the refrigerator. 
so that you can see what it is and we'll see if it's the same thing or not. And yeah, this might not actually be strong enough to give any color. Super, super, super light pink. So, I mean, maybe if I had left the beets in there longer, the color would have intensified. That's possible. Um, but real quick, I'm going to grab a beet so we know if we're on the same page with our produce. Okay, so for those of you in the UK or not in the US, this is a beet. And I'm curious to know if that is the same thing as a beet root. Because it is a root vegetable. So maybe we just call it something different. <clears throat> and when you slice it open, it is dark, 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 dark red. So that's that. Okay, so I am going to see if I can zoom down on these colors so that you can maybe get a better idea what we're seeing here. And I'll excuse the motion. Okay, this one is the original red cabbage that... Um, sat overnight and there's a piece of white against it so hopefully you can see the difference let's see if I can shade that a little bit I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not because the, the lace is pretty transparent yeah if I pick it up you're not going to be able to see it at all so I might have to come back after these dry this one next to it is the red cabbage dye that has sat overnight and I added some lemon juice to. This one, which one is this one? I lost track. Which is this? I, okay, I think. Let me just cut another piece and y'all can probably tell me which one it is because <laughs> you've been sitting here watching me. Okay, what's interesting actually is these two ended up being the same color and it's almost an aqua color the way it's drying. Let me get you on both of them, these two. One I added to, added baking soda to last night. And this morning, the jar was more purple and still is. And I poured some in a bowl and added more baking soda to it. And now it's more blue. but it is drying more of an aqua color and I, I'm curious if it's going to end up being green like the paper towel. It's curiouser and curiouser. Okay, this one is... Pull this up. Oh, I'm supposed to be pulling it down, sorry. Let me see. Okay, this one is the boiled beet. And just hold the white next to it. And it is coming out like an, an ivory slash cream color. And I've got you zoomed just a little too far so you can't you actually can't see the white next to it. Oops, sorry. There we go, but there's some shadow there. I mean, here, here's the white lace here against this. And I hope you can see it better than what I'm able to see it in my view screen right now. 
and this is the beets that were just sliced and put in cold water for not even 10 minutes. And it's got a very, very slight pink hue to it. I'm actually really loving this, uh, this aqua lace. <laughs> <coughs> loving the lilac of the, uh, of the red cabbage, too. So that is, um, what I've been playing with so far. I'm sure I'll be playing with some other things. Um, but it, it's really cool seeing, seeing the different effects that you get with different things. Um... So that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate your comments, and um, I will hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care, play nice, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.